Play surges forward. Possibility. It's FIFA 16, but on the PS3. So I've played a lot of the PS4 version of this. I featured on the channel, but I haven't played the PS3 version before, guys. So let's take a look at this and see how similar it is to PS4. Um, these menus are exactly the same by the looks of things. And I am emulating it via a bit of software called, I'll try and get this right, RPCS3. <laughs> so it might be a bit funky. Whilst it's doing its thing in the background, it usually settles. When it's compiling all the shaders and that kind of thing. Even though it's told me it's already done it. Usually I'm fine with the footy games on this software. It's a bit rough to begin with. As you could see there, that was a glitch. Anyway. Let's just try some West Ham v Bournemouth here at West Ham's old stadium, the Bolian Ground or Upton Park. I always called it Upton Park. And, oh, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Let's see if this does work. This might be a short video. But if you're watching this and I've uploaded it, then it means that it works. So if you're watching this, it'll probably be working. Look, no names on the back of the shirt. That's also an emulation glitch. But we'll see. So FIFA 16 on PS4 is a game I like a lot. On the Ignite engine, of course. It's a lot of people's favourite FIFA in that era. I personally prefer FIFA 14, the first game on the Ignite. I don't know if this is running on Ignite engine. I don't think it will be because it's older. Oh... It's all the technology, and here we go. Yeah, this is settling. I could tell that this is going to settle straight away. So I tried to play this on the same emulation software a year ago, about a year or two ago. It just did not work. It got to, like, kick off, and you couldn't do anything. So it just goes to show how far this software has come. But I'll stop talking about the emulation now. Let's talk about the game. This feels... More or less identical to me. I know I've only been playing for a few seconds. And it also looks very similar. So you've got a new camera in this. I don't remember enhanced broadcast. Let's put that on. I don't remember that being in the PS4 and Xbox One versions. Please correct me if I'm wrong. So that's what that looks like. I don't like it. I don't like this view. It doesn't suit me. I prefer the more zoomed out Teddy broadcast camera angle. No, I can't. I can't play on that camera. So, yeah, it feels the same. The same menus. We'll have a look at career in a minute. Because I do wonder if career is the same as well. In regards to the menus and the screens and the presentation. But this is fantastic. Because I really like FIFA 16. I find that it's a little bit too quick. And this is the same. This is in normal speed. So what I would do in FIFA 16, if I was playing a career mode, I'd whack it down to slow. And I'm not... I'm not overly impressed with some of the ball physics in this game and the way the CPU plays. Like, some people rave about this FIFA like it is the best FIFA game. I'm not one of those people. I think it's okay. I think it's decent, you know? It's a good football game. It's like an 8 out of 10 football game. Um, and it was better than Pez 2016 at the time. Oh, it's a free kick. Let's see if I could score this with Dimitri High. Should be on this free kick. Let's see what the game allocates. Harry Arter for Bournemouth goes into the book that. Um, didn't mean to do that. I'm so used to Pez skip cutscenes by pressing start instead of X. It is Dimitri Pai. Can I score? Oh, so. Another issue I've got with FIFA 16, and it was the same on PS4, is the ball. With the Nike balls, this is nitpicking, by the way, but the Nike ball to me looks tiny. I know it's the camera angle. It's going to look smaller. I'm more zoomed out, but in a bit, I will, or towards the end of the video, I'll select a different ball, and you'll see how different they look in size. It's weird. Oh, me and my balls. Oh, that sounded, that sounded dodgy. I'm going to regret saying that. But yeah, this, this plays the same. It's, it's strange because it must be 
a similar end. Can you have similar engines, game engines? This might be running on Ignite. I do not know. I'm absolutely clueless when it comes to game engines, what they entail, what systems can work with what engine. So maybe it is, maybe it's not. I'm sure you guys will know more than me on that. But I like this. This is cool. Graphically, it looks very similar to PS4. Obviously, PS4 will be shinier. It'll look prettier than this. I don't like the washed out color palette on PS3 games and 360 games. I always talk about this. Maybe this is, or maybe it's because this is at 720p and FIFA 16 on PS4 was 1080p, I'd like to say, or 4K maybe? Was it a 4K game? I think it was. Anyway, let's go with Valencia for this career. And I'm obviously not going to be playing a lengthy career here, but it's for the benefit of retro football, the benefit of this series. Let's have a quick look at it. All of this looks exactly the same. You're probably gonna hear me say that a lot. But it does. All of this is identical, which is quite impressive considering the PS3 was obviously a lot older than the PS4. By the time this came out on PS4, we've got to call him Free Bentos. It's just what I do. Yeah, by the time this came out on PS4, the PS4 would have been around for three years, I'd like to say. Two or three years. So if you add that on to the amount of time the PS3 had already been around, then this is, like I say, quite impressive to be running on the PS3, but the PS3 was a beast. And a console I absolutely love. And it's a console I got into later in its life cycle. But anyway. Valencia Ponder, new boss, Bentos. I've turned the soundtrack off, guys. It's the same soundtrack you do get in the PS4 version. And I've turned it off because YouTube won't like that. Because they're all obviously licensed songs, licensed artists. But yeah, this is cool. It's a cool, it's a cool football game. I think it's better than 15, but it's nowhere near as good as 14. I think 15 is the worst out of the Holy Trilogy or Holy Trinity, which were the Ignite, FIFA 14, 15, 16 games. I think 15 is so fast. That even in slow, that game is quick. I loved it at the time, though, I must say. I did enjoy it. My opinion on that changes a lot. Sometimes I go back to 15 and prefer that. Anyway. Um, can Valencia live without Victor Ruiz? Okay. So I'm not going to bother trying to sign players. I've turned off the transfer window for the summer. I would do that anyway. It's realistic. This is the squad you've got to work with until January window kind of thing. Um, and it also lets me get to these matches quicker. I'll simulate the friendlies, the pre-season friendlies, and then I'll play the or I'll play a bit of the first La Liga game. So we've got the player conversations. All this is the same. I always found this a bit strange. You can't reply to the players. It was just like these still screens. But I still preferred career mode back then. It was a lot more involved. You had a lot more going on behind the scenes. Or rather, the I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong on saying that. Because later FIFAs were pretty good. Frostbite FIFA career modes presentation-wise were pretty good. It's just gameplay-wise, I didn't enjoy them as much as Ignite. Um, so you'll get all the content with this that you would have got as well in PS4 and Xbox One versions. All the Premier League stadiums. We've won a game. We've beat West Brom. All the Premier League stadiums. I don't think we had all the La Liga stadiums yet. I don't think that happened until FIFA. I want to say FIFA 20? I might be wrong on that. But this is cool. I hope you include me in the squad today, boss. Let's have a look then. Look at all those controllers. So you can have five against... Sorry, five? Five against five? Six against six? I don't know. I didn't count how many controller slots there were there. That's obviously for that mode, which name escapes me. And it's a cool game. One of my issues with this FIFA, though, in career mode was you just saw four arrows. Oh, this is different. The substitutes and reserves bit. How do I get to my substitutes, though? Can you see that bar at the bottom? How do I open that up like that? That's different, I think. In the PS4, that looks slightly different. 
is an easier way of doing everything. But I might be wrong on that. But I think I'm right. Yeah, see those form arrows on the players? A major bugbear with me with FIFA 16 was when your players hit form, and it's quite easy to do that, win a couple of matches and their form arrows will point up. Oh, we're not at a home stadium. I wanted to see the Mastaya. I think it's in this game. We're at Crown Lane. Yeah, this game got a bit too easy once they hit form. This game in exhibition matches, like away from career mode, away from form arrows, is very challenging in legendary difficulty. Very challenging. But it got a bit easier, which I guess is realistic. Players hit form, they're going to play better, you're going to win more games. That is footy. But I found it was a bit too... Um, I was going to say like a cheese, like a bit of a cheat code. I wouldn't go that far, but it did make the game a tad less challenging. But it was still challenging and legendary. I'm going to be terrible at this, by the way, guys. I hope I can score a goal in this episode because it's been a while since I've played. Oh, they've got Baby up front. Man United's Baby. Or Bebe. <laughs> I'm sure he played against me in my Pez 6 Master League series. Shameless plug. Go check out the playlist. Um, but anyway... I mean, all of this, I'm going to say it again, it looks exactly the same, except for the colour palette not being as as good looking as the PS4 and Xbox One versions of the game. Gameplay-wise, exactly the same. This is It feels exactly the same to me, guys. I've played a lot of FIFA 16 as well, and this feels identical, which is a good thing. If you couldn't have afforded a PS4 at the time, you still had your PS3 knocking around, then this would have been worth a buy for but sure. Especially as I really didn't like PES 2016. I know I keep saying it. I, I thought it was dreadful. That, that game felt like it was missing so many options and content from a single player perspective. And it was too easy to score rocket shots on PES 2016. Again, in my opinion, I know a lot of you guys who frequent this channel enjoy PES 2016 a lot. Maybe I need to go back to it. Maybe my opinion would have changed on it. I don't know. I have featured it on Retro Football, so check out the episode, see what I think of it these days. But you know what my memory's like. I can't remember when I did that episode. I think it was last year as I'm recording this. But anyway. Yeah, this is good. It's a good football game. It's a bit wobbly, which is a weird word to use, but it's the word that's currently on my mind. It's wobbly. In defending and stuff, it can feel a little bit, little bit disjointed is a better word to use, not bloody wobbly. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's decent. It's a good game. You get some midfield tussles and all that kind of thing in this. Let's see what they could do as BB or Baby. One of the worst players I've ever seen play for Man United. I think he only played like once. And you'll have to excuse the noises in the background, guys. I can't do much about it. Oh, I thought they'd score. My son's off school for half term. He's in the gaming room with me. He's chilling out. He's watching his iPad as he does. I forgot that happened in FIFA. And when I say I forgot that happened, what I mean by that is um, you can't just pass it out. They will mark your defenders. They'll press you high. Some teams will. Which annoyed me with early pairs. He's going to score. He does score. I'm terrible at this. Yeah, the old pairs games like pairs 5, pairs 6. Something that irked me was their attackers, the CPU attackers, would not sit on your centre-backs. They'd just let you play out from the back every single time with your goalkeeper. It does annoy me, that. Anyway, it's 1-0 to Real Vallecano. And I'm back. Quick edit there, guys. My son wanted a drink, so I thought, let's let's just cut the video short there. Real Vallecano had scored. I rage quit anyway. <laughs> so it's international game time, international match. Germany in their home stadium here. Is that Berlin? Berlin Stadium? Whatever it was called. Or whatever it, whatever it is called. So Germany against USA. Can I get a goal in this episode of Retro Football? Let's see. Because I enjoy this game. I do enjoy it. It's not perfect. It's far from it. But I thought it was a good alternative at the time to aforementioned PES 2016, which a lot of people will prefer, or some people watching this will prefer. Personally, 
I know I keep going on about it, but this is a foot. This is a better football game in every aspect for me. But I need to score a goal. It can't be an episode of retro football where I don't score a goal. I'm going to play until I score. To my son's annoyance, because I'm recording this around lunchtime. He probably wants his lunch. So let's hope I score soon. <laughs> anyway, it's Ozil. This was a good German side, wasn't it? Not one of their best, but very good. Have they ever had a bad team? Didn't Brazil beat them 7-1 once? Or was that Germany beating Brazil 7-1? Oh, I can't remember. I gotta get my I gotta go to the memory clinic. I think get my memory assessed. Anyway, my son's getting louder now. I need to score a goal. Oh, here we go! Ah, Schweinsteiger scores. Yeah, it's a good goal. It's a decent goal, and he gets a goal for retro football. But yeah, FIFA 16 on the PS3. Oh, by the way, I changed the ball. Let's get back to the action, in-game action. Let's watch this. Good goal from Schweiny. Look at that, it just sits up nicely for him. Let's have a look here, and you will see... Look, it looks bigger, it's the Adidas ball. Make it make sense, the Nike ball looks tiny in this game. But anyway, yeah, FIFA 16, give me your memories, your thoughts with this game, the PS3 version, guys. And I'll speak to you all soon. Tony Cross.